Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you are feeling a bit stuck in that particular position that you are and you can see very, very boxed in over here. There's a barrier, there's some kind of obstacle uh, that is in your way. Now this, all this uh, anxiety that you're going through about being stuck in this particular position is actually causing a lot of growth. So you are going to come out of this and you're going to be much better uh, having gone through all this difficulty. There has been some kind of uh, crisis uh, there's a storm card over here showing that there was either some revelation or something that happened to that caused a lot of chaos in your life. And now you're feeling pretty stuck in that particular energy. Now, in the past, you've got the woman of the world. So this is you actually, um, you know, looking back on the past and reviewing it and having learned a lot of lessons from all the battles that you've been through. It seems like you've been dealing with some dark haired, or, sorry, some fair haired man uh, that may have been causing you some kind of problem as well. Maybe you're looking back at a relationship um, and reviewing it, really. So you're doing some soul searching or you've been doing some soul searching recently. Now, going into the future, you've got a stranger card. So somebody coming in with some kind of news for you or maybe even some help. Uh, there looks like there's some kind of journey that you might be taking. So um, this could be a, uh, you know, something that is work related or you could even be taking some kind of break or some kind of holiday just to get yourself out of this energy. So those are the energies within those two, that week, sorry. So I'm going to use the Pagan Ways Tarot for the main read. I have put this deck in the description box, so have a look. Let's see. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Queen of Swords over here. So you're very determined to get things sorted out. Um, you know, you're taking a stand for what you believe in. There might be some kind of legal news coming in for you. You're waiting for that. You're in a point where you're, you know, reviewing things. You've been through a lot at this particular moment. So there is some kind of news that is going to be coming in and you are waiting for it. You can see you're taking your stand over there and you can see all the... The clouds are clearing at the moment. So although it seems that things have still not settled at the moment, uh, it looks like, uh, you know, you are planning your next move or you are coming up with some kind of strategy in order for you to uh, get through this particular situation. So what's happening with you? You've got the Seven of Pentacles and it's crossed by the Queen of Cups. So you are feeling rather depressed. It looks like you've cut out people from your past or things from your past. You are reviewing the past uh, a lot at this particular moment. You might be crying a lot as well because the Queen of Cups is generally somebody that feels a little down. So you might be feeling a bit upset about things that are happening. And, you know, with this Queen of uh, Swords over here, it's having gone through so much of problems. Um, and right now you're doing some kind of a life review at the moment. And, you know, you're maybe you're looking at the things that you've missed, maybe feeling a bit, uh, you know, let down and uh, not supported by people around you. You've got the Cultivation card, the Seven of Pentacles, which is showing that you may need to just sit and wait for things to happen. Now, all the investment that you made up in into the situation is going to end up paying off, but you just have to have a little bit of patience. Uh, it looks like things will come to you uh, at the moment. It's just even here, sitting back and looking at the past and even reviewing what you have accumulated. Maybe you're even doing some kind of financial review as well. So there seems to be a lot of loss that you've gone through and you are doing some kind of review, but you've invested in something at the moment and you are waiting for it to pay off. You've got the King of Wands here in the past situation, so it looks like you have been dealing with a lot of problems. You can see there's a lot of fire around this card. It might have been that you have been dealing with a fire sign person, which would be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius person, and they might have been somebody that have, has been giving you a lot of grief. They've stirred up a lot of problems in your life, and you know, you're know you having to deal with that as well. 
So in the past three months, you've got the three of wands. So you are trying to build foundations. You can see it's a foundation card. It's also, you know, you need to look, you've been looking at what you have in hand at the moment and looking to see if it's adequate or if it's fulfilling for you. And maybe there's an offer that has even come in and you are actually reviewing this particular offer in order for you to move forward. This is also a card about collaboration. You could have even been doing some travel as well with this uh three of wands it's also speaking to a lot of people about things now you want to make a brand new beginning you've got the full card of a year it seems like you want to take a risk at something and you want to move forward uh, you know you are hoping to transform into something different you're hoping the situation changes so going into the future you've got the nine of wands which is the resilience card and it says that although you've been through so many battles you know and you're feeling really tired and you're feeling really let down and you know it's brought you down to your knees really there's a new sunrise in the background over there so you just need to have faith and stick it out really and you know just um, um, try to draw from you know your last resources and use it to be able to get through the situation this is like the last battle to be fought and you just have to put everything you've got into it and you will get through this particular situation you've got the hanged man over here so this is waiting for things to change and having made some kind of sacrifice you are trying to take that leap of faith you are trying to change things but there's it's a very toxic situation that you're dealing with you've got this big snake over here on this tree over here and there's a lot of ravens over here so maybe you've been having a lot of bad luck and this is you know you're feeling very stuck you can see this person's hands and feet are all tied over here. They're dealing with that situation that's very toxic. Um, but you're looking at it from a different perspective. You're looking at it from a bird's eye point of view, looking down at the situation and trying to get some clarity within it. What's happening around you? You've got the tower going on around you. So there's a lot of negative energies, a big, a really big a crisis going on around you and you know things are uh, being broken down it seems like uh, you know there's a lot of revelations a lot of messages coming in for you and a lot of change in the in your attitude maybe and maybe you're going through a lot of loss or you've been through a lot of loss recently so in your hopes and fears this is the underworld or the death card and um no sorry this is the uh, devil card rather in this particular deck it's called the underworld and this is dealing with a situation where you're being manipulated and controlled or that's how you're feeling at the moment and maybe this is the thing that is keeping you tied up and this is the maybe you're dealing with a very toxic person that is making you feel uh very tied up very uh constricted very restricted and that is why you've got that uh, hanged man over there where things are at a standstill at the moment. So whatever that situation is, you are feeling very stuck in it. And it is a very, very toxic situation. And you are feeling very, very manipulated. So going into the future, you've got the Princess of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the Eight of Swords. So the Princess of Cups, looks it looks like there's some kind of message coming in. And it might be a healing message, uh, or it might be somebody bringing you some kind of good news. Uh, you can see there's a lot of birds in this card. And there could be some kind of apology coming in, or there could be some kind of emotional support coming in for you with this, um, you know, whether you accept it or not is another story because this woman's got the, her back turned to the man and the horse. So you might be waiting for it. Um, it might come in unexpectedly. Uh, and, um, you know, maybe you're not really ready for it at the moment. You've got the Ace of Cups. It's also an apology. So it could be it's, it's the love card. It looks like there might be some kind of apology, some kind of um, maybe somebody admitting that they didn't act in your best interests. But whatever comes in for you, whatever new uh, situation or news that comes in for you is going to change your attitude towards things and make you see things from a very, very different light. Now, with this um, Ace of Cups, it also could be the beginning of, you know, it could be a beginning of new love or new support coming in as well for you. You're still feeling very restricted and very tied up with this uh, Eight of Swords, the Constraint card. So, you know, there is something that has not come to light because you can see this woman is wearing this um, mask of her face there. And, you know, she doesn't feel like she knows what she's doing. And this is also your own thoughts. Maybe you've gone through a lot of tower moments with these different swords. And, you know, this has left you feeling really helpless as though you can't really get things done and, you know, Everything seems to be really dark and dreary in this card. So it seems like, you know, you're still trying to get over and trying, trying to sort things out. There seems to be a lot of people standing up against you, preventing you from moving forward. But it looks like there is that message coming in that is going to actually move you out of that particular situation and give you some kind of release or some kind of support. So you are going through a very, very difficult situation at the moment, feeling very, very tired, having fought a lot of battles over there. 
but you are determined to get things going or you are determined to win with the queen of swords you know she is usually a person that wins a battle uh, but you have to stand up for yourself because you are going through that tower moment which is a very very difficult energy to actually go through um you know it is something that really turns your world upside down so i'm going to draw some cards from the uh, fairy tarot let's see what it has to say So the first card is the Seven of spring, uh, spring, which says, Be assertive. Don't back down from what you believe and courageously stand up for yourself. So you do need to stand up for yourself with the Seven of Spring. And, you know, you've got that resilient cards with the Nine of Wands. Seven of Spring is like the Seven of Wands. So you do have to stand up. And it says you need to be assertive. Then you've got the Princess of Spring over here, which says it's time to go after your dreams. Do something that expands your horizons and let your creativity take flight. So you need to actually follow your own pathway. You need to follow your own star and you need to go for it. Uh, you need to stand up for what you believe in and you need to follow your own star. And you've got the Ace of Spring. It says it's time to take action. Be fearless and happy to pursue your most treasured dreams, amazing career opportunities. So there's new opportunities coming your way and it is time for you to act. Do not sit there and wait for things to happen. If you're feeling stuck, you know, you need to actually, um, you know, make plans and you need to actually fight for what you believe in and go for it. So it's time for you to take action. All these are action cards. Everything is spurring you out into doing making a move. Get yourself out of the situation of, uh, you know, the devil where you're feeling stuck, where you're feeling manipulated and get yourself out of that negative energy. Um, you've also got that Eight of Swords. You need to get yourself stuck, unstuck from this particular constraint card. And it says with these cards that you do have the energy in order to do that. And it is time for you to take action. So um, with this Princess of Spring, it looks like you are going to be able to, um, you know, sort things out. But you do need to stand up for what you believe in and stand up for yourself. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share subscribe and leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.